Okay, hello and welcome back. In this episode, I'm gonna create that arrow and we're gonna start with creating our function. So, just gonna draw arrow and then we're gonna give it a start position, as we said, and a arrow um, head position and also a color. And then we can actually already draw a line from the start to the head position. And it's just going to be start position, arrow head position, and the color, of course. And then I'm already going to um, draw that. Draw utils, draw arrow, and then here a new back to two, um, let's say 500, 500, and a color of black, and I'm gonna comment everything out. So we just kind of, we just see the, um, the arrow. And of course I need to add a arrow head position and I'm gonna set actually I'm gonna set this to 200 and 200 and the other thing or no wait a second 200 and let's say 600 all right <laughs> and then um, I'm gonna say that's gonna be at 600 and 600 so we have a 45 degrees uh, arrow like in the um, in the short presentation I did in the last episode Okay, save, um, and then let's see if that worked. Um, go to browser, and of course it didn't. Um, and that's the reason is I needed to change the Y position to um, There we go. Um, now it's the other way around. Well, then I'm just gonna switch these numbers. Um, oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> then 200. 200, of course, that means that has to be 200, 600, and this needs to be 600, 200. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's sometimes it's quite confusing, um, but anyway, it works now. Um, and let's jump right back to the code. Um, okay, so we have um that line now um we need to calculate a direction so from the start position to the arrow head position and we do that by saying i just say direction and i'm gonna calculate it by using the sub function from the arrow head position minus the start position all right, then um, now we have the direction from the start to the arrowhead, but we want to uh, subtract a certain length from the arrowhead um, to get a center you know, for, um, of the line. And first we need to normalize that direction to, to, to multiply it with a certain number. So I'm just going to call direction normalize. And then we can say the arrow head center. Arrow head center is the subtraction. Like we said, we need to subtract the arrow head position minus the direction, but 
we said that we want to add a certain length as a, I mean um, we want to set that direction we normalized um, to a specific number so we can get a center and we can do that by scale the normalized direction and I'm gonna say 10 for example it's not that much um, because the line is pretty big but I think it's should work. Uh, let's say um, how long is our arrow? Um, yeah, it's quite long. So I just say 50. Yeah, that should, that should work. And now we can um, draw that too. So I'm just going to call draw point to just um, debug um, that we actually calculated the right thing that's the position then the radius set it to 20 so we can see it and a color of red okay so let's see if that's right let's go to the browser and i already refreshed that and there we go um we have the arrowhead center um you're not going to see now, but I'm going to change the scale from 50 to 100. Um, let's see what's going to happen. It just travels down. And that's the exact thing we want to have. Now we can specify a specific um, center. But I'm going to let it at uh, 50 for now. And I'm going to reduce the radius to 10. Like this. And... I'm gonna add the, the so I mean that we can uh, have the arrow like this, you know, um, not that big, and yeah, that's what we're gonna do next. Okay, back to the code. Um, now that we have the arrowhead center, we need to get. Um, to the final position where we want to draw the line from and I'm gonna call this um, left arrow head and this is gonna be um, yeah okay um, we have the direction now but we want to have a vector orthogonal of that direction you know and we can do that by just called direction dot get normal we declared in our vector class and now we have actually a vector which is orthogonal on that direction yeah and now we can also draw that point but it's not that easy to draw it because we need to add um, that direction so basically we have the arrowhead center now and we have a direction vector which is the orthogonal which is a orthogonal direction vector and this normal here this orthogonal vector um, is of course also a direction vector so we need to have a start point and we can do that by calling add, um, say, arrowhead center and then left arrowhead. Okay, and I'm gonna set that to green this time. Okay, so then let's switch to the browser. There we go, we have our um green uh arrow heft arrowhead left um this is a little bit yeah <laughs> it's not that much on the left side so we need to um scale that because the direction here is normalized so it's just one unit to the left side so that means we need to scale that left arrowhead or at least that direction get normal and I just can call scale here 
Actually, I'm just gonna add um, another variable direction to left arrowhead so it's more understandable. Uh, there you go. So I'm just gonna do this direction, get normal. Okay, this is now the direction to the left arrowhead. And now I wanna um, now I wanna calculate the left arrowhead position. And I'm gonna call this left arrowhead position. Um, I'm gonna replace this one. And the final left arrowhead position is the start position. This is the arrowhead center. And the scaled direction to the arrowhead. And this is direction to left arrowhead times a specific number. So I say 20. Um, refresh and we see our little green point moved a little bit. If I say 50 st uh, instead of 20, it's gonna move even more. And now we can draw this first line. And this is going to be the start position again. Um, this time it actually doesn't matter if you draw first from the left arrowhead position to the arrowhead or the other way around. So I'm just drawing from the left arrowhead position the arrowhead like this um, and give it a color of, let's say, I mean, the arrow is black, so I'm gonna say, or I'm just gonna pass color, of course. Okay. And if I go back, um, we see we have our line. Awesome. Uh, and now, um, maybe that's a good uh, opportunity to challenge you. Um, pause the video and try to implement the other uh, line calculation. Okay, I hope um, you found out the solution. If not, it's no problem. Um, I'm going to show you how we can calculate this now. Um, first, of course, actually, we can just copy this one, this line, and say direction to the right arrowhead. But now we have a problem because this direction is still pointing to the left side. So, how can we flip the direction? that it's gonna to point to the right side. This is pretty easy. We just need to scale it by minus one. And that's the trick of the left side. Did I scale it by minus one? No, there we go. And now we can just copy everything else. Just make sure that everything is written correctly. So let's say right arrowhead position we're gonna draw the point at the right arrowhead position, draw a line from the right arrowhead position to the arrowhead position, and there we go. This should work now. Let's jump to the browser and check. Okay, I forgot to draw the line actually. Oh no, I I didn't forget it. I just um, forgot to use. Um, I forgot to use the right direction. There we go. I had to replace this one. This is typical, um, yeah, uh, mistakes um, in doing that. It will happen a lot of more times, I guess, throughout the course. So I'm sorry for that, but I'm gonna correct everything um, if that's happening again. Okay, so let's jump back to the browser, um, refresh, and there we go. We have our new line for the arrow. Um, what I'm going to do now is I want to 
um, change that length and that length, this length and this length to a smaller number. And I think I'm gonna change this to uh, maybe 10, but first, first I'm gonna remove the um, points because they are a little bit too big and also a bit annoying. Okay, um, I'm gonna say, I guess, hmm, what's a good number? I think 10 is quite good. Let's say 10. For the arrowhead position, I mean for the center, I mean. And for the lines, I say 5. And now it's gonna look um, like this. And that looks really like an arrow. Cool. And now, um, to close the topic, I'm gonna point from this point here to my mouse position. So I'm gonna move my mouse and I'm always pointing to my mouse position. And we can do this by changing the simulation um, JS class. And I'm just setting here the mouse boss. I'm basically just copying this one and this one. There we go. And this should work now. All right. Well, that looks <laughs> interesting. Um, but yeah, um, we're gonna uh, fix this later on. That's a quite easy fix. All right. Um, I hope you had some fun. Uh, I hope it was not that difficult. Um, but yeah, um, have a nice day and see you hopefully in the next episode. Bye.